Cause I, when I look at it, and you, and you, you listen to his music. He, he speak that pain, and, and and it feels very real. But when some people look at the music, it kind of seemed like he, if you believe in karma, a lot of stuff that he did. If some people may say like this is what led up to his untimely demise, with, you know, the mocking of tragedies and people getting shot and things of that nature. Like, how how. How do you answer to that part? Yeah. <clears throat> man, look. This man left. This next album finna come out. He met, He left us with his best work. Mm. Like, ever. But on the flip side of it, it's like he was speaking his death into existence. I ain't never heard him talk about death this much on his album. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never in my life heard him talk about death as much as that. I ain't, and he was talking about God a lot, a lot, a lot more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like God was training him for what was finna come. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And so, but you're right though, like, some songs I don't want to put out because it sounds like you talking about another story, but it's talking about the same thing that just happened to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, but that was Mo three. Mo three told stories like he t- he told like real life stories he been through, and what he seen other people go through. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I mean the good and the bad come with it. When we when listening to his music, uh, I know I've been writing to it a lot. I know a lot of people have, and every time I seen you on live or you answer the phone, his music is on. Is it a song or Mo threes that you like, bro? I just can't listen to it or a video like I just can't watch. Right now? Yeah. Since he passed? Yeah. They hold your tongue. That was Ooh. the first song. That was the first song I heard. That was the first song I heard from him. Mm. That I really just fell in love with. That's first. That was a song we was doing shows for $500 for. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that song. That, that, I can't. I don't know if listen to this song. It seemed like y'all really, y'all really became friends, man. Like, what, what, what Mo three mean to you, bro? Like, let let the world know who he was to, to Rainwater. It was like my brother. I talked to him every single day, four day, four times a day for the last five, six years. Like, we just called. We were, I was like his life coach. I remember, I remember him having his first baby. I remember him with all his friends switched on the light. Like, 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 yeah, that hurt. That hurt. I ain't, that hurt. Like, we grew together. I ain't never managed nobody from the, before I met him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was running around here, uh, uh, rap hustling. Trying to, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing nothing legit. He let me, he, he gave, he let me, he gave, he gave me a chance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He didn't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? It didn't care what nobody say. Like, like he was telling me when they back then, man, your own homeboys is telling me don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, you know what I'm saying? I gave him my last though to make sure to, to earn my trust with him, though. I did. Like, you know what I'm saying? And when I first met him a month, a month after I met him, he couldn't pay his rent. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't pay his rent. He kept, t- he kept telling me. He told me three days in a row. And finally, the third day, he told me in so many ways, like, damn, I need my rent money. And damn, damn, I'm short. Then he coming, he coming, he coming to the house the next day. I don't even know if he was talking to nobody, but he told him, girl, I tell I told y'all I, I'm gonna have it when I have it. <laughs> then the third day, <laughs> three was sleep. Then the third day he came in there and say, uh, third day he came in there and say, Man, right, bro, bro. You, you got anything? I ain't have no money neither. You know what I'm saying? So we both finesse my we both finesse my homeboy out of six hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So three paid his rent, but he looked at me. He ain't looked at me like you was did some janky shit. He looked at me like, bro, you did some janky shit to help me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was janky. He seen my janky side that day because we finesse <laughs> we finesse that nigga. I, I swear to God, I fin- I came up with something slick. Yeah, got it. Got him for a whole six hundred dollars then, but I did it for a good cause. Three, three, three. Realized like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, like I, I helped him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know, 
So we we grew a real, real bond. Like it wasn't nothing nobody could tell him about him, and it wasn't nothing nobody that, that could tell me about him. You know what I'm saying? When I first met three, I, three was real selfish a little bit to people around him. And they didn't understand because he never had nothing. Right. And you know, you go from a nigga who who live out people and live from apartments and cars to having a little money. His biggest fear was to losing their money. You know what I'm saying? Real. So three, I watched three have two three hundred thousand dollars in. And go buy some Wookie shoes from Big T. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's straight up. Hey, you doing uh, Chad, Chad Ocho Cinco. Yeah, didn't give a damn. Then three or send somebody in there with one of them stores, go tell them what to go get. He ain't give, he ain't, he ain't give, he ain't give a damn. But you know, and it was real cheap, like, like cheap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he taught me lessons too. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, me and him both had $10,000 in our pocket. And I'll go buy the real shit and, and, and buy this and buy that. And three go in there with them, with them fake ass shoes. Then go back to the, and I I I I have spent all my money. Went to the club, threw, threw a bunch of money. Three still I have all this money saved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real, like that nigga was cheap. Let's talk about um, cause the last time uh, you know, we you and I sat down, a lot of other things transpired. Like right. that night for you at V Live. Right. Um, what exactly happened that night? Damn, D. That case still open. I ain't talking about that. Okay, that's cool. We'll cut that I out. I ain't talking about that. That's, that's cool. You ain't got to talk about it, bro. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Prior to him passing away, y'all was, y'all was just out doing shows, right? Y'all was out kind of traveling around? Man, we came back. We did, we did, two, um, we did two videos in Sacramento on Monday. So we came back Tuesday morning. And so he's like, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to my condo downtown. I said, I bet. I called him that night. He said, I'm gonna go to, to Duncanville. So I was like, bet. I was like, I bet. I said, you gotta wake up in the morning because you got that movie. Mo three's in the uh, middle of shooting a movie at the time. So I would call him that morning. I called him, he can't answer the phone on the second ring. I used to he can't answer the phone. I had to be like, I'm on my way to you right now. Cause I thought usually he'd be asleep, so I got to blow his phone up. Yeah. I said, like, damn, you up early. Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah, I'm up. So it's about 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock early for him if he if he's spending the night from, at, some, at, a, at a different house. Gotcha. So I'm like, damn, you up early. So he's like, yeah. So. He just riding. Next thing you know, he said, he paused for a minute. Damn, Ryan, they shooting at me. I like, do, 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 do. He said, damn. Bro, they shooting at me. Come on, they shooting at me. They shooting at me. I'm like, where you at? Where you at? Bro? I'm just getting real on the phone. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? He ain't saying nothing. Then he paused for a minute. I heard, I heard the door open. Then he said, Ryan, they shooting at me. They shooting, they shooting, they shooting. And I heard about four shots. And I heard, like, you, I thought he just got shot in the stomach or something. So I'm, I'm calling, I'm calling, and I'm calling, and I heard the ladies, the people that would come over there and try to help him. He ain't answering. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, three just got shot by three times. He probably got shot in the back. I'm putting it in my head. So I, so I stay on the phone. I jump in the car. I stay on the phone till the police get there. I'm like, and the police get there. I'm like, uh, I'm like, where y'all live? Where y'all live? He said, he kept saying, I, did, I just need his name. I said, where y'all live? He told me. So boom, I just jump on the, I jump on the road, and I'm just, t- I'm making, I'm telling myself, but I don't heard how many shots it was. Yeah. But I'm telling myself. He just got shot by three times, four times. You know what I'm saying? And I get to the hospital, and you know, usually when somebody die, they quickly tell you. If they, I, I, when they still are shooting that video, I'm like, he ain't. I, I'm saying he ain't dead because they would have put a, they would have covered him up. Yeah. Right there at that spot. So I'm like, all right, three just fucked off. He's fucked off. Then we get to the hospital, 
it's two, three hours for they sell me, tell us anything, mama, anybody, anything. You know what I'm saying? Like two, three hours. Like, so I'm like, he, he good, he good. Then they just come out there like, nah, he passed away. Like, damn, three. Like, damn, man. That is crazy. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. How, how was y'all feeling in like the, seeing the video circulate? Cause you know, a lot of times that's like social media. That's the thing. Like we saw that with King Von with the uh, the morgue picture, mm-hmm. and then we see three laying in the street. Like, mm-hmm. how 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 were you feeling when you saw these videos or these pictures circulating the internet? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was. I still was in this disbelief. Mm. I still. I was looking at it like, damn, dude. I was just to disbelief till I seen him in the, uh, at the funeral today. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But God, let me tell you how God worked, though. So God know what he's doing in 2020. When that click, when that, when that time hit and it was 2020, January 1st, I never knew I was going to be put in my this shit. I, and three probably never knew it. But God prepared us, though, like, I kept preaching to him the whole time. Like, three, I get you some artists, you know what I'm saying? And make your legacy move, uh, keep on building. So, you see Gotti over there? You can keep on getting you some artists. So, boom. We went, we talked about it, we did meetings, we signed the two best artists we possibly found, the two best artists in Dallas at the time. That I thought, if they if they had me and three behind, three, if they had, if they had to co sign by three and then let me do the work, I'm gonna blow them up quick. So, got them signed. I told, kept on telling three, you need to do something for your kids. And and, and he went to go buy a bunch of time shirts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Three was in the midst, the midst of, the, of negotiating a big deal with a label. Okay. I just told him Friday, last Friday, before he died. When you were Empire, when King Von died, me and him riding uh, riding around California, I said, see, when you were Empire, you own all your masters. Your kids gonna be rich, go be go get paid for the rest of their lives. He said back, he said, damn, you right. You know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, you right. So it was just God, like, you know what I'm saying? God, I would never thought three. We go past 2020. But the foundation that we built, everything's still rolling smooth. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So with signing the new artists and, and going through what you've been going through this year, like what have you learned and what do you do different with uh, number seven? And what's what's the other artist name? Dun Dun. Dun Dun. What do you do different with them? How how do you lead them? Because I can only imagine what they going through right now. Yeah, I just I just I'm glad they got to see his work ethic and be around. Like if three would have passed, and I would have found some more artists. That would have been a lot harder on me. I can get it done, but they've been a lot harder on me explaining how somebody's greatness was. Gotcha. And three was great. Like he was like you. He was closest to greatness ever seen. Like he going to the studio and freestyle four or five songs. In the road by telling stories. So I'm glad they got to see that. Like, I'm glad they got to see that. Like, but I'ma let them be, I'ma let I'm I'm I make sure they more sociable. You know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes you can miss a, your blessing by thinking something that's really not true about an individual. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna make sure they more sociable and, and work with a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying? And so they don't have to go through the problems that me and three had went through. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, it's like, it's like they can do like a, it's like a stepping stone. It was a stepping stone. Being around three, laugh, they see how three moves, see how we go to shows, see how we record, see how he conduct himself. You know what I'm saying? Because they still young. Right. They, you know what I'm saying? They 19 and 20. You know what I'm saying? They still young, so they t- they kind of see how you're supposed to conduct yourself. Like, you can still be a gangster, have this gangster 
mentality, but you know, it's a place and time for that. You know what I'm saying? So they 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 seen they got to sit back and learn and watch how you move at certain at, at the level that three was on. Gotcha. Back back to Mo three, and I don't know if this information came out or if I missed it. Like how many times was he actually shot? I still don't know. Mm. I still don't know. I I I, I still don't know. Gotcha. Got I heard one time, I heard three times, I heard somebody say he got shot in the back of the head. I heard that wasn't true. I I still don't know. So I don't know. What what about these spiritual advisors that's going on right now? Like this stuff is I don't know if you saw it, like we seen this rear his head when King Von died and you know an artist, um his his old lady, whatever his old female that he was dating said a spiritual advisor told him her what his last words were. Now you're seeing a lot of people's spiritual advisors chiming in all over Instagram about the incident. Like, how do you feel about that? And do you feel like that's insensitive? Man. Man. It's crazy because I I done seen a lot of people die. But I ain't never seen that many spiritual advisors like come out like this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I I put it like this: if y'all if if people ready for that door to be open, open it. But if you know what you've been taught and raised on, then you stay away from that door. All right. Because you know I don't know what to believe. I know what I was taught when I was raised to. So I try to stay away from that situation because I I don't know I don't know a lot of, about that situation, you know what I'm saying. So you know like I try to stay away from it. Like I was I was raised I was raised in the church, you know what I'm saying. And, you said talking to spirits that ain't that yeah, your thing. Yeah, That's I, I feel I'm kind of yeah. I don't know I don't I don't know what to believe. Like <laughs> like three was talking to them people before he died. Okay. I thought he was lying. Tell me, I talked to Real Lee and Bubba. I thought he was lying until I heard that lady come back and say the same conversation. The same conversation three told me he had. That lady came back and said the same conversation she had. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He kept telling me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, you know. Do, do you take a break from social media? Have well, How do you find your peace? Like, at what time do you get a chance to just really go and grieve, go and recoup, and... I got to stay moving. You know, these people, these, these people talk, these, I've been hearing all kind of stuff, like, what rain want to go do now? What this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that. Man, this is what I do for a living. I keep moving, just, I keep moving to, to my peak, my peak to see, to be successful. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get no peace for another year. Mm. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. I want y'all to see what I do. It's done, done the seven. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do for a living. I've been doing that for years. So you know, my it motivates me when people say, "What you gonna do now?" Mo three gone. You know what I'm saying? Mo three gone. What you gonna do now? With him being gone, it expands. I got. A, I got. A, I got a wider boundary now. Got you. You know what I'm saying? We were stuck in this little circle. And moving and and, and 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 moving our way in the game. When he died, it opened up a big boundary. The word the word Mo three is known around the world now. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. Name was shout out in the yeah. verses last yeah. night. I got ten thousand. I got ten thousand followers since he been since he died, and, mm. and now his story around a story is 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 being heard around the world. He famous now. I tried. To, I wanted to tell him, man. I sit back and just talking to myself at the, at that funeral, and I was like, bro, you famous now. Congratulations, like you famous and you get and you die with wealth. Like your kids ain't got to go through what you went through. Hmm. So at the end of the day, like I would tell the people, man, like he opened up a bigger door for me. You know what I'm saying? He opened up a bigger door with his, with his death. Opened up a bigger door for me. You know what I'm saying? So. It just it was just motivating though. I couldn't I couldn't believe people doubted me like that. Like, what, you, what he gonna do now? He lost my three. It, with this whole situation, is, is there anything that you would want us to know, or anything that you would want 
his audience to know, his fans to know, or just the world to know, since all eyes and hearts on Mo3 right now? Man, he told true stories. He told true poverty. I said that right, right? Poverty. Uh, right. Po- yeah. So good. Poverty. Poverty. Stories. That's what he did. That's how he did. Told told true stories. You know what I'm saying? He helped people grow. I hear people all, all the way around the world, my inbox full. Man, Mo3 helped me get through my day. Mo3 helped me get through my jail time. Mo3, Mo3 helped me doing this. And he didn't even know the people. It's just his music. Like, like he told good stories, like ghetto stories. Just the, you know what I'm saying? Uplift, let everybody know it's a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, all his songs mean something. Like, you know what I'm saying? All his hits mean something. Like, I know you stand on their stages back in the day. Like, do you know what I had to do to keep my lights on? You know what I'm saying? Then he came back. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. Then he came back and say, my partner don't, uh, my partner don't take care of his kids. He said he was mad, but I'd be wrong if I never it's said tough. nothing. Yeah, just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just like, dad, like he got, he's he so tired of broken love. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, man, I be riding around listening to him since he passed. Say, man, this new CD, I just like, three year beast. Like, he told true stories that make you get get through your day. I, and and I and I guess we can kind of end with this: the legacy of Mo three. If you can say the legacy, I know you said the true story, but all said and done. A legend laid to rest today. What would what else would Mo Three Legacy be? Who is the legacy? What is the legacy of Mo Three? He the best rapper ever came out of Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Dallas, Texas. I ain't never seen a, a person come through here with the talent that he had. You know what I'm saying? Ever. You know what I'm saying? That was church. This is what it was. That was church choir singing mixed with Mr. Lucci. Mm. Combine. He could sing his ass off. He could rap fast with a steady pace like Mr. Lucci did back in the day. Ain't never, it ain't gonna never be done again. Like, I know that. It ain't gonna never be done again. Like somebody come through here with just so much talent. He sound like a three different rappers. He sound like a, a R and B singer. Some some songs, a ghetto gospel singer, he can rap fast like Twister. So people used to think Mo Three was a group back in the day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't think it's ever be done like that again. Like he went up against all odds. You know, I, you know. Let me tell you like this. You know, sometimes I used to hear a lot of people say. If Mo three was if Mo three wasn't with Rainwater, Mo, I mean Mo three didn't need Rainwater because he was gonna blow regardless. But nobody, if that was the truth, why nobody else ever committed with him? You know what I'm saying? It's just the extra baggage that came with three. I was the only person that sit there and deal with deal with that and you know kind of coach that and and understand his point of view. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. You know, with the baggage that came with him, because it was a lot of baggage came with him. Like, you don't understand. Like, we went against it, all odds, but his music was so talented that people had to fuck with it. Like, like you had no choice. Like, you know what I'm saying? I done seen I don't seen us go through three got three got busted on fake watch buster twice. <laughs> He got caught with fake watch and fake shoes in the same picture, <laughs> and came back and, and came back and, and came back and dropped and I and had the whole world doing the NY and I challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he just he just went through so much so much diversity. Like, man, he a clown. He fake getting shot. You know what I'm saying? I remember that. Came back, dropped the song. Like that nigga talented. You know what I'm saying? Like he had he, one day you had a whole internet talking so much shit about Mo Three. 
that night you had a whole club singing it. His words were his songs word for word. So it was like I don't think nobody ever went through the through what he went through. Like people clowning for cheap shoes and cheap clothes, twenty dollar outfits and champs, and he fat, he's short. You know what I'm saying? Her line is came way back here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like they clowned him, like they clown every day. It was a different Mo three joke, and you know what I'm saying? I heard K Breezy say, I heard K Breezy say, I don't want my fans to clown me like Mo3, like they do Mo3. You know what I'm saying? Or if, if y'all see me, if you, she said, if you my friend, you see them doing me like they doing Mo3, I need you, I, I hope you take up for me. Like it was a trend for everybody to hate Mo3. You know what I'm saying? Hate Mo3. Like Mo3, out of all the rappers around here, Mo3 didn't have no friends around here. Mm. He went up against all of them. You know what I'm saying? All of them, like, the radio? Ain't none of the radio people went to his film. <laughs> Did they start playing it? They start playing it, but they don't, none, of them, none of them reached out and said, y'all need anything? Mm. Y'all y'all need this? Count the like, you know what I'm saying? They had a Nipsey Hussle count like That man was a million miles away. But right here in the state of in Dallas, Texas, none of the industry people came to Mo3 Counter Like. It was, mm. it was the streets singing word for word. Come from their heart. You know what I'm saying? So he went up against all odds, like, like all odds. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think this could ever be done again because the type of heart he had, if he stood for something. He ain't care, like he ain't care. Like he stood for something, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, people got to look at that, like, this type of shit they put him through. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else, when Corona came, March, Three was going house to house paying people rent. People mm. didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? School came. And this not no, we gonna put up a flyer and make it make sure everybody know that we're gonna be doing this this day. This riding down the street and saying, man, pull up at the shoe store. One day we went to every hood, giving he gave gave giving kids a hundred dollars. Then we put up in North Dallas and he just bought everybody, everybody in North Dallas shoes. Whoever came to that store, you get a pair of shoes, a uh, pair of shoes for, for back to school. You know what I'm saying? Like the type of shit he did, but people like took it for granted though. Like when he died, they called him a legend. You know what I'm saying? But when he was alive, they just had a lot of nonsense to say about him. Like he ain't from Dallas. You know what I'm saying? He he, he from a candy. You know what I'm saying? Like he this, he that, he this, he that. Like he this, he that. You know what I'm saying? It was always something. Then he died and they gave him his crown. You know what I'm saying? So, Man. You know, Man. I guess that's how life is. Well, hopefully we can... The artists and people out here can learn from this, man. Yeah. To appreciate people while they're here. Yeah. To step up and actually be able to... If, if something can be fixed, let's fix it before it go to a point where it can't be fixed. Yeah. Man, again, man, my heart go out to you and his family. Let me ask you a question. What's up? So you you know music around here, right? Somewhat. Huh? Wasn't he the best thing that came around, came around here? Musically? I, th I, I think musically he's probably one of he's probably the most talented Man. real verse art well rounded artist. Definitely yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Huh. And I'm gonna say my piece. I feel bad because I listened to him, but it wasn't until after he died that I really yeah, no, right. went down there and I said, oh, I really missed out. And I, I felt bad. Like, I wish I would have known this to be at the House of Blues when he sold it out. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, the things that I said back that I knew about, but I didn't go around it because I didn't appreciate it. Now I'm on the other side. I'm like, damn, bro, I dropped the ball. And so, like, my whole thing now is to to make sure anything, anyone that has talent to try to tap in. Because, I mean, life too short, bro. And I don't want to be that. I feel like a bandwagoner right now. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because of this tragedy. That's why I didn't really post too much about it. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to, like, try to tag you into stuff. Because I didn't want it to come off as, you know what I'm saying? Like, the clout just to be seen to do some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I think I had the old number. I did text. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's just kind of me. I, I kind of like, man, like, 
this is my heart really going out. But that that brother was talented, and his music is going to transcend gen- generations. Yeah, 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 I think. I mean, I'm like, like I said, y'all get that. Y'all go, this shot us forever is the best quality work that Mo3 ever did. It's, uh, it's the best quality work he ever did. It's go, go, go. It's go, go, go. So, you know, y'all stay tuned. Hey, man. But stay safe, bro. Our prayers out to, you know, you and your family, man. And we'll link soon. All right.